Welcome to Crossiums. In this chapter, I will show you how to add in your designs an engraving with an image, embed text in an organic way, and make your designs parametric. So now, let's design. Let's start by opening a signet ring. Here, we will modify the size to 8, and we can modify different properties of the ring as well as the profiles that are used to create it. We will leave it as default and confirm. We are gonna create an ISO curve and selecting the arrow we are gonna select the top part. Change the UV direction and this way we decide where the embedded image will be placed. We go to the top view and we are going to adjust the X coordinate. Once we have it, we confirm we will create an offset of the S curve, which will allow us to enlarge the circle and move it vertically without affecting the ISO curve. I'm going to put it on the top of the ISO curve and confirm. Confirm and create the auto extrude. As we can see, we can select two directions. I recommend using both sides, using both sides since in case of future modifications the direction of the curve I recommend using both sides since in case of future modifications the directions of the curve may change and this would modify the direction of the extrusion. This way we make sure that it will not change. Confirm and we will create a boolean difference between the ring and the extrusion. So we select boolean difference, we select the ring and as subject P, we select the auto extrude and confirm. As we can see now, by simply modifying the offset, we can increase or expand the hole. Well, uh, let's hide the ring and open the rasterize command. Click on the image and add, for example, a lion. From here, we will change the view to the top and we can modify the size to adapt it to the circle that we did before. We can modify the threshold and we'll subtly modify the curves. Confirm and we can remove the other curve. We will unhide the ring and we can do it in different ways. The quick way would be to raise it with the gimbal. I'm going to copy it, modify the size of the extrusion, and we would have a flat design, which may be what we are looking for. Another way would be I'm going to delete this part, and what we're going to do is to create an auto blend curve using the S curve on itself. So uh, we go to the drop down tools, we select auto blend curve, and we select the ISO curve. All right, so we are going to option send and we select 0 0.5 and on the continuity as position. The same with the start. Okay, so now we have a fixed line. So if we later modify the IC curve, this curve will always remain attached. Well, now uh, what we'll do is to create an object and curve and select the lead input because this way we can modify it easily later. Select the curve that we just made and in this case we don't need to orient it because it is in the center. We are going to rotate it uh, in set axis 90 degrees and we would already have it. We are going to hide the rasterize and we are going to create an auto extrude from the object on curve. As I said with the previous extrusion, we select both sides, all right, and we are going to select the distance that we need. Once we get it, we confirm. What we'll do now is to make this extrusion rounded. So to do it, in the history manager, we open the drop down of the boolean. Here we have the original signet ring used. 
we restore it and if we edit it we would modify the size of the ring and everything inside it like the extrusion. So we are going to duplicate it. And now we have a separate ring. We are going to edit it to link this ring size to the other one. This way when we modify the original it will be also modified. Confirm. Now let's go to the boolean intersection. Well, first we are going to crop the extrusion. We can crop it by typing on the command prompt or we can crop it by the edit panel. So it's the same, we can just crop it and we return to the boolean intersection. We select the ring and the extrusion of the image. And as we can see now, it's rounded. We can not delete it if we plan to edit this extrusion and the ring. We can select the signet ring and confirm. Now we hide the signet and auto extrude. Okay, so we have the ring. As I said before, what we have here are two rings, one as a structure and another as a boolean. So if we modify the main original ring, the ring with the boolean will change its size too, since they are linked. Okay, let's imagine that we don't want this flat part. We can create an offset from the offset we used for the auto extrusion. So we create an offset, select the offset, and we lower it to the end of the extrusion we did before. Okay, now we can confirm. And now we are going to select the offset and select the smooth cap. From this way, we get a smooth surface that we can modify the height. We confirm. If we move the top offset, the bottom offset will move with because they are linked. I explain all this so that you understand how the components are connected and interact with each other, offering you the opportunity to modify other signs quickly. Now we have this part and I'm going to change the textures and the colors of the top part. Remember to close the smooth cap, otherwise it will be an open surface. Let's create the outer text. We start with an ISO curve, we change the UV and we will position it more or less here. We confirm. So we select the ISO curve and we will create a profile placer. We will position it in the middle and we will rotate it with the shape of the ring. We can modify the profile if we want. Select different, but we are going to change the size and, com and confirm to create the auto sweep. We select the ISO curve and the profile placer. Okay. With the auto sweep, we can create the Boolean difference between the ring, now Boolean, and the auto sweep. We are going to group it because it's not grouped. So it's time to create the text, select the curve, and select text and curve. We are going to write Merry Christmas to all our Crucium's users. As we see in the circle, the text may not fill the entire curve. So I will show you how we can do it to fit it perfectly. We will create a planified curve from the ISO curve. And we will make the text on the curve on this planify. We add the text and we change the size and confirm. Now we can use the flow by curve command to make it flow on the ISO curve. As source curve, we are going to select the planify and our target the ISO curve that we used for the planify. 
and the deformable object is already selected. If not, you have to select the text. We confirm. And now we have the same as before, but the difference is that we have the text flat and we can modify it as well as stretch it. So let's rotate it so that it fits well in the hole. We can also move it with the gimbal and it will move the flow by curve, since the position reference is the planify. Well, now we take the text and we are going to stretch it with the gimbal. And as we can see, the text of the ring has filled the excess space. Finally, we are going to do the same thing we did with the lion. Duplicate the ring, modify the new ring, link it to the main ring, and now we hide the other rings to make our boolean intersection. Create a boolean intersection and select the ring and a subject B, the flowback curve. We confirm and this way we would have our image and text embedded in a very organic way. Finally, we can see how by modifying the size of the ring, everything will adapt. Note that if you don't want to make it parametric, you can skip several steps to get similar results. Let us know what you like of the video in the comments as well as if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep making content to all of you. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook and other social networks. See you in the next chapter.